Welcome back to Beyond Bourbon. Today we have a review of a sample sent by a friend. Okay. Thank you, Michael Baker. Uh, we met up for a Four Roses swap and then I gave him a sample swap and he gave me this in return. So this is Elijah Craig C923. <music> 13 years old, supposedly the best batch in a very long time. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people haven't been super pleased with the most recent batches. Everyone was really upset after they changed it to no longer being aged at 12 years. So everyone's like, they're gonna get worse, they're gonna get worse, all the older ones are gonna be better. They come out, and I think they kind of had to do this as a brand, they came out with something older. So like you kind of, it's, you stepped it up a little. Now is it gonna be like this every time? Absolutely not. Because why would they take away the 12 age statement to just do 13? They're gonna be losing money and land. Yes. Now, these things are also- A little course correction with the going Yes, 13. exactly. Yeah. I think C923 is probably the hardest batch to find in a very long time. People are buying it for way over retail. I don't know if it's worth it. We'll have to see. I mean, I've not, I've seen it on the shelf as soon as it came out and I was like, Phew, who is it? Like maybe it was a local store. It was like $90. Sometimes like, that's a little expensive for not knowing what I'm gonna get. Cause we talked about this in the beginning. They're very long. Batches depend, like they do. Like mm -hmm. it, and that's fine. All batches are good. Mm -hmm. I, there's not been a batch been like, oh, that's terrible. Exactly. Some people do not like them because I think like bourbon junkies, they get uh, like that Sharpie note on some of them. Yes. We've not got that on any of them. No. But that could also just be we've not had any of the bad batches. Exactly. I'm sorry, I just had to get into that. Wow. You know, my, that's, that's Russell's 13 on the nose. Yeah. Like that is so similar to Russell's 13 on the nose. Yeah, it's so cherry. Cherry like, right? and prunes. Oh, and the deep prunes. Fruit. Like this one. Almost stag-like as well. Yeah. Like, a little lighter than stag. Stag's really dark. Hey. Shout out Heaven Hill, baby. <laughs> I was see, I was looking at the hat. I like that. I got that when I went to that bourbon uh, train experience. Oh, thing. nice. Yeah. yeah. So maybe I'll wear, the, I'll wear this for. I'll wear wear it for the video. I'll put it on there. We'll have it like. Yeah. C923 is 133 proof, 13 years, seven months. So over almost, 13 and a half years 14 old. Years. Yeah. I would call that 14. Um, now, again, we've we said this already. Everyone has raved about this. We just looked to make sure. Yeah. Breaking Bourbon gave it a four and a half out of five stars. That's the highest I think he's ever had it. I, I've looked at stuff and he's like, this is pretty good. Two and a half stars. I'm like, okay, that that seems a little crazy. Um, but this is, this four and a half. Is, I'm like getting I'm, more and more excited. Yeah, we, yeah. Just, we just tried uh, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I would yeah. I, we gave that a 44 each. So at 88 out of 100 is probably the second highest ranking we've ever. What was Russell's? It was like 89 maybe, right? It was yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really high. So maybe besides Russell's 13, highest we've ever gave it. And this, I this might take thing. it down off the nose. This is high proof. Man, older. Yeah, that's true, man. Gotta be a lot older. It's more like classic bourbon palette. It's not as banana fruit like parfait. It's more of oh classic my gosh. Classic flavors. I mean that is just getting it's so too. good. <laughs> All right. Oh, it is delicious. Come on, try yeah. it. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh. Dude, the evolution of that. That's what I was about to say. It just it just like and then just changes again. It's still changing. The oak it makes mm. it makes that Jack Daniels we just had like nothing. It was Gosh. so one note. Yeah, this is this so is complex. Like, yes, and that extra age, but it's not overly aged or over oaky. You get it for like a quick second, like you know, like a good amount of oak, and you're like, oh, that's gonna be too oaky. Then it's like all of a sudden dies down oh, in the and sweetness. It, and yeah, and it just chills out. It's just like uh, almost like a sour patch kid. Mm. How, like it like. Gets super sour and then yeah. oh, it kind of goes to sweet. You know what I mean? Oh kinda my like, gosh, dude, that is insane. Mm. The mouthfeel is incredible. The buttery, like caramel yes. notes, like a barrel sugars. I guess is like yeah. the other one thing. Kind of chart like that kind of like yes, barrel vanilla charm. sweetness. Like, man, that is like even come back to nose after that. Like, is this bourbon of the year? I mean, it's our favorite bourbon, I think, probably so far. This is better than Russell's thirteen. I don't know if we'll rate it the same or not or whatever, but I think- Burn hey, 13, I think. We're talking 20 proof higher, basically. 114. Oh, we're right. talking 19 proof points higher. Oh my, dude, come, the nose on this is getting so much better. Oh yeah. <laughs> dude, that's insane. I can't get much off of this one, but. <laughs> that's it, just silence. It's not even close. That's <laughs> like, this is really good. But it's so like, it's so wild turkey. And I think- It's just so wild turkey, you know what I mean? It's, compared to this, everything's gonna be simple. Like, it, yeah, I don't, exactly. I cannot imagine something being more complex than this, this right? Is, yeah, this is, 
like like you said, a full course meal. You're getting everything you want and more. This is like bringing me to tears. I feel like this is like, oh my gosh. Perfect of the year. It's gotta be, right? I think I'm gonna have to reuse that thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Wow. I've not seen anything, not only just the complexity, mm -hmm. the, the range of flavors is a part of the complexity. The evolution that the evolution it comes through on, on your palate is the sweetness that knocks you down immediately. Kind of comes back down to earth when you get into that chari level, mm -hmm. into that you know oakiness, and then it ends in that just that perfect amount of sweetness, right? Yeah. Like it's yes. like it's like it hits everything it's, that I've ever wanted to hit in bourbon. Hits every note I want. the The nose is like so subtle, but still there. Like it, it, it makes you think, oh, I'm not gonna get as much, and then you take that sip. And it's just an overwhelming like yeah. sensation. Yep. It, it, this is why I like bourbon. I think the palate's better than the nose. Oh, right, well, I, absolutely. Yeah, I think the, the nose could, is a little lacking. That's the only thing I would say is I wish the nose even gave a hint to what you were gonna get in the palate. It, it gives something, but like yep. I did not prepare me for that at all. No, but it kind of like subverts your expectation. Oh, yes. this is gonna yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's, a, it's another ECBP. Yes. Like that's what it is, right? It really like is. I said before, palate to me is two times as important as I know. Yeah. Because I don't drink bourbon to sniff it. Yeah. I drink bourbon to drink it. Out of 50. I have a number. I'm gonna go 47. I'm gonna go 48. 48. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, honestly, like how can it get better than this? That's I mean, that's a 95 out of 100. So we have five points in person. <laughs> like it can't. I know, I don't think it can be a perfect bourbon. So I think 95 definitely is bourbon of the year. I mean, it, it might change next time I have it, you know what I mean? But. It's gonna be hard to beat that. Like that is, it's not doing too much. It's not trying to be just one note or trying to be one high, super, super high proof. Like 130 is still not like crazy, crazy hot. It doesn't drink like 130 either. We gotta talk about value for a second. A, when it came out, it was hard to find. B, secondary, still really hard to find. We're talking 125 to 130 price. That's still as much as I paid for Russell's 13. I think this is not only the best bourbon of the year, best value of the year. Exactly. You gotta think about that. At one, can you, Secondary, $75 for this? Retail is crazy. crazy. Like, I wish there were so more easier to find it, but I would pay 120 bucks for this. I, I would paid too, 150 yeah. for Russell's 13. And it's, I think that's worth it. I would pay 200 it's for that, right? Like I would it. pay maybe 225, 250 for that. But you'll never find that for no. on the shelves. I got lucky because I got it for the release, which sold out within 10 minutes. Yeah, so C batch, I think is technically pretty consistently the best one of the year. Yeah. Third batch, final batch, and you're looking, you know, trying to got to impress some people for the holidays, stuff like that. I think they wait to do their best batch at the end of the year. Makes sense to me. I would do the same. However, how do you follow this up? I mean, are you is a one twenty four? Is that going to be uh, another thirteen year old one hundred and thirties proof, or are you going to go back to your eleven and a half year old one twenty five proof? Here's my prediction. I think they're getting a lot of buzz and hype right now after the, after this release. So you're gonna have to follow it up? No. Oh, okay. I think they're gonna kind of let you down a couple more times. Okay, see you back next year. And then year see you back next year or Cause two years. Because right now, no matter what it is, you're gonna buy it, right? Like yes. a one, yeah. Oh, like, oh, it's so good, let me see. Let, let me compare it. Yeah. Not as good, and then the next one's not as good. Like, oh, are they, do they fall off? And then they release that C batch next yeah. year, and it's as good as this. And everybody's like, they're back again. Yeah. And they're gonna keep doing that cycle. Cause they're That's getting, a very good point. They're getting talked about being overrated, they're getting talked about being underrated, they're getting talked about in every bourbon conversation. Yeah, they found they, that they, perfect they, line. Yeah, you release one good out of the yeah. three batches a year, you're still in bourbon of the year. Not every batch has to be bourbon no. of the year. And this, if you have one batch a year that's gonna be good, that's enough to keep me buying every batch. So if you had one every six batches, I don't think I would ever buy it. I would wait till, it, like wait until it got off the shelf, probably look at some reviews, some reviews and then first. I'd be like, maybe go try to find it. But now, A124 comes out, I don't really think anything I'm gonna go buy. I don't care if it's 10 years, I'm probably gonna go buy that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, 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 we have to see, can it follow this yeah. up? But I mean, yeah, you guys know already this, I'm sure already you've seen a billion, bajillion reviews out there, C923, all of it's true. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Every word that's ever been spoken on the good side of this is true. Every word that you've ever seen negative about this, not true. I can't wait till the next one comes out. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what you think and what's been your favorite ECB patch, BB, EC, what's been your favorite ECB patch? That's not right. Yeah. ECBB patch. ECB, blah, blah, blah. That's like, that really runs together. ECB, e, ECB, all right, ECB, see you guys later. See Thanks again, like, subscribe. See ya.